Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley here for Ellen Hudson today. And today I'm gonna show you how to use the brand new Reveal Wheel die set from Lawn Fawn. This is so much fun. You can use it to make an interactive card. I'm gonna show you how to make a color changing card today, but you can also make it where the sentiments change as well. So here's a look at some of the products I have on hand. This is the Reveal Wheel Die Set and Coordinating Sentiment Stamp Set. And this here will be the wheel that spins to reveal different colors or sentiments or stamped images. And these sentiments here, the Reveal Wheel Sentiment Set, these are sized perfectly to fit within the windows of the Reveal Wheel. So let's look at a couple more of the products here that are kind of add-ons. I have this Sweetest Flavor stamp set, and here's the coordinating dies. These are the regular dies, but you can also purchase the Reveal Wheel add-on die. You see that little puzzle piece there? It fits within this Reveal Wheel base to create that ice cream scoop shaped window. And here's the Speech Bubble Reveal Wheel add-on, and that fits also within that base to create the Speech Bubble shaped window. So there's a lot of fun coordinating sentiments and die sets, and I love that these smaller stamp and die sets are reasonably priced so that you can pick up all the little additions and add-ons. Now I've gone ahead and stamped several of my ice cream cones and some of the cherries and hearts and I'm coloring them in quickly with some Copic markers. And I'll have the exact Copic markers linked over at the classroom blog so be sure to check out that coordinating classroom blog post. And once I get all of these colored I'm going to go ahead and use the coordinating dies to cut these out. Now to cut out my ice cream cone I am using the reveal wheel die add-on set. So I'm gonna cut both of the regular die cut and the reveal wheel die cut so that you can see the difference between the two. I'll just run these through my Gemini Junior and now I have all of my pieces cut out and ready to go. And I wanted to show you the difference between the regular die set and the reveal wheel add-on. This reveal wheel add-on leaves the space for the window so it cuts out the center of that ice cream scoop. On the left there, that is the regular Sweetest Flavor die set. So it's, I think it's a good idea to pick up both and have them on hand. Now here's the Reveal Wheel base. And you can see that each one of these windows fits within that notched out puzzle piece part at the top of the base to create the different shaped wheels. And I like to just hold them in place with a little bit of painter's tape or washi tape. And you can see when I flip this over, I have my ice cream scoop window placed inside of that base. Now I'm going to take that base with my window piece in the puzzle portion there, and I'm taking the wheel and the smaller circle wheel and running all those pieces through my Gemini Junior to die cut them. So you can see I have my piece here, that's going to be my card front, and I have that ice cream scoop window in the front. And I'm going to take out that little window portion that cuts the ice cream scoop and cut this base again. So here's all the pieces that I need to create my Reveal Wheel interactive card. Now I wanna show you that on the wheel itself, you do have these debossed lines and those are gonna help you kind of line this all up and I'll show you how that works in just a moment. For now, I'm gonna take a small little mini brad and I'm gonna push it through that base, the wheel base, and I'm going to also slip it through the center of my wheel there and I'm going to open the brad up. So now I have the little base piece on the back, and it's connected to the wheel with a brad. And I've made sure that my deboss lines are facing up so that the base is on the back part of the wheel. The front part of the wheel is the part with the deboss lines. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of foam adhesive and I'm going to put it on the wheel base. I wanna make sure that it doesn't overlap onto the wheel itself. And I'm going to take and I'm going to use these deboss lines once again to line this up. So I've removed the backer of the foam adhesive on the wheel base and I'm taking this and I'm looking through the window and I'm making sure that I slide this wheel over until I do not see that deboss line along the side and also along the top of the window, that little ice cream scoop shape window there. So once I move that kind of up to where I don't see the deboss line and over to where I don't see that line anymore, I'm going to hold this in place and press it down onto the base. This is the portion that doesn't have the window cut in it. And now I have my wheel perfectly positioned so that everything will show through that window perfectly. 
And I can just go ahead and open up my brad and take my wheel off so that I can do my stamping or coloring or whatever I wanna do. Now you can add sentiments to this wheel. You can add color or pattern paper. You can do whatever you want. I wanted to kind of have a rainbow effect so that my ice cream would change colors. And I didn't want the outside portion of the wheel to have color on it. If you don't care about the portion on the outside of the wheel that you turn having color on it, you could probably just ink blend this on or watercolor the entire thing. But I've decided to go ahead and use some distress inks to watercolor with a little bit of sparkle pen onto this wheel. And I'm just taking the color up to that debossed line. So I'm not going beyond the debossed line because I don't want the outer portion of the wheel to have color on it. So I'm using Worn Lipstick, Wild Honey, Mustard Seed, Cracked Pistachio, Peacock Feathers, and Wilted Violet to add my color. And I've used my Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pin so that that color will have a little bit of sparkle to it. And once I'm done, I can go ahead and just take a baby wipe and wipe up my Tonic Easy Clean mat there. And you can see once I slide this back onto the brad that's already attached to the base and I spin the wheel, I have my color changing ice cream. And there are so many possibilities for this interactive card. Sentiments, pattern papers, colors, you name it, stamped images. I think this is so much fun to experiment with. So I know a lot of times these interactive cards can seem overwhelming or intimidating because there's moving parts, there's lots of pieces, but really this was very easy to put together. And if you just break it down step by step, you can make your own reveal wheel interactive card as well. So now it's time to put the card together. I am stacking up several of these reveal wheel add-on ice cream comb frames. <laughs> That's a lot of words there. I'm stacking them up so that I can create some dimension. I could have used foam adhesive, but I thought the frame portion would be difficult to add foam adhesive to. And I'm kind of obsessed with stacking dies on top of each other right now. I'm not sure. It must be a phase I'm going through and you can just bear with me. I'll get through it eventually. But for now, I'm stacking die cuts like crazy. <laughs> So now I'll continue working on my sentiment. I have white heat embossed the word sweetest onto a strip of black cardstock. And then I have a couple more of these colored ice cream frames that I am going to add onto my card front as well. But I wanted to add a little bit of color to the inner portion. So I'm just taking my Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen and I'm just coloring with those same distress colors as before. This is the worn lipstick and the cracked pistachio. And that adds a little bit of color to the ice cream cones. And you're going to see that I'm going to take three of these and kind of fan them out over the front of my card. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the you are the sentiment right on the front of this card. And that way that when all of my sentiment gets put together, it's going to say you are the sweetest. And there's also another sentiment in there that says of all of the flavors, you are the sweetest which is a lot of fun, but I didn't feel like I had room for all of that on my card, so I went ahead and just stamped You Are the Sweetest. And now I'm just attaching that little sentiment banner that's embossed there with a little foam adhesive, and I fanned out my little ice cream cones. I've kind of attached them temporarily together so that I can move them in one piece. And now I'm going to take more of that Zig two-way glue pin. I'm going to add it all over the back of this ice cream cone grouping and I'm gonna position that right over the window that's on my card front. I added a little cherry to the top of the center ice cream and now I'm adding those watercolored inner portions onto those two side ice creams so that I, they will have color in them. And I did add those with a little bit of foam adhesive. I added a couple more little cherries there at the bottom and I'm gonna add a heart or two when I finish off this card. But for now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the foam adhesive that's all over the base. I have applied that foam adhesive to where it's not touching my wheel, but it covers the entire base minus the wheel because I don't want anything impeding the movement of the wheel. And then I'll go ahead and just line up the front over the base and adhere those together. Now for my card front, I thought it would be fun to kind of add a little bit of this gingham paper from Lawn Fawn. I was kind of going back and forth between the pink and the mint and I decided on the mint. So I'm just cutting that down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm attaching that onto an A2 size card base. And you can see that this reveal wheel die set fits really nicely on the front of an A2 size card. I'm taking a little extra piece that I had cut here 
And I'm just temporarily adhering that to my card base so that I can stamp the sentiment or this little stamp that says turn me and it has a little arrow. That's from the reveal wheel sentiment set. And then I'll take my entire card front and adhere it onto my card base using some more foam adhesive. And I did tie a little twine bow there. And you can see that finishes off my card. And when you spin this wheel, you have your color changing ice cream, which is so much fun. Now I did add a little bit of glossy accents to my cherries that are on the card front, as well as those two little hearts that I added just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension and shine, which I think is always a fun way to finish off little accents on the front of your card. So there you have it, a really fun color changing ice cream card featuring some new products from Lawn Fawn. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you got a few tips and tricks for putting this interactive card together. Like I said, I know they can seem intimidating at first, but really if you just break it down step by step, it's really easy to do. I think it's so much fun to give people interactive cards because it's a nice surprise. It's not something that they're expecting from a handmade card. And it just, it's so much fun to play with. <laughs> and this color changing shimmery rainbow ice cream, I mean, who would not love that? As always, I will have links to the featured supplies in the description at YouTube, but head on over to the Coordinating Classroom blog post. Over there, I'll have more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. Thanks for stopping by today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our paper crafting and card making video tutorials. Thanks for stopping by today. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the very end. If you've made it this far, you know you're my favorite. <laughs> if you want to subscribe to our channel, go ahead and click that button on the left side of the screen. And here's a couple more video tutorials I thought you might enjoy.